Charging into the first corner. And looks like everyone's got through safely. Great start to the seventh round of the British Mini Bikes here at Wilton Mill. Ryan Frost got the early jump on the field from Chloe Jones into the top corner. Taylor Rose, Harris Beach in there, rounding up the top five. They make their way round to the first half lap. Oh, it's down the inside goes Ryan Frost on Chloe Jones. Great outbreaking maneuver there. Chloe trying to fight back. Jones has a look down the inside, but the gap is not there. And Ryan Frost, he looks so strong this morning in the warm-up and the qualifying sessions and building on that good form with a great start, although Chloe Jones is all over the rear wheel. Corey Tinker, Taylor Rose, Harry Speech, Eddie O'Shea just a little bit further back. And they go charging through. Oh, as Chloe Jones squeezes through on Ryan Frost. What a move there. Ryan Frost was not going to give that one up lightly. Taylor Rose now to fourth place from Harris Beach. Eddie O'Shea, Samuel Laidlow further down the field. But the battle at the front between Ryan Frost and Chloe Jones still fighting the way. The rest of the field go charging through. Samuel Laidlow, Mason Johnson just a bit further back. Rossi Brown, Harry Cook and Ben Taylor. 11th place. Oh, we've got a fall of Ryan. Oh, we're going to to the, the out of the commentary. And another one go. Another rider down. Ryan Frost, one of our pre race favourites, is on the floor. He's okay. They're going to get him back in the race. And another rider went down there as well. One of our Holden identifying that second rider. They're trying to repair Ryan Frost. Bike has picked up some damage. That means that Chloe Jones. Charges through at the front by quite some distance. All change at the front now then because Corey Tinker goes through to second place. Taylor Rose, Harris Beach, Eddie O'Shea flying through to fifth position. Rossi Brown, Harry Cook up to eighth place. Ben Taylor. And I think the other rider that went down was Mason Johnson. He's still down. They're trying to repair that machine. Ryan Frost is back on the track and right field there we see that looks like it could well be Corey Tinker what we missed bit of drama here though because uh, <laughs> fighting for the lead Ryan Frost went down and the unfortunate I think it was uh, Mason Johnson that went down he's got back on the track now he went down in the morning warm-up session pretty much the same point that was one corner before not been his weekend so far so here we see Midfield battles here. Chloe Jones leads. Corey Tinker now safely in second place, although Taylor Rose is keeping that pressure on. In fact, Taylor Rose goes through to second from Harris Beach. And looking to see. No sign of Corey Tinker on the left, although it could be them there. And uh, Ryan Frost goes through. As I say, he's down in 11th place. So drama in this opening race. I think that was just a mid -lap, missed lap from Corey. He's running. Um, that's. Who's that? So Taylor Rose looks like. With, uh, yeah, there's, there's a few problems with the timing issues. You've got um, Chloe out to front, so you've got Ben Watson in second. That's Ben Watson, and, yeah, isn't it? Ben yeah, Ben Watson second, and you've got Corey Tinker in third, Harris Beach, and Taylor Rose um, in fifth position. They go past the yellow flags with Mason Johnson still trying to get him back in the race. And Watson trying to close up on Chloe Jones. There's Watson in second place, and 1 2 0, resting the final corner back on the power. You know, I think, I don't know if it's his first season racing, but but he just seems to be getting quicker and quicker and quicker. Every single round that he comes down to us, he's just getting quicker. And now he's, you know, he's fighting out for podiums. Um, yeah, I think Ben's definitely a name to watch. If he's going to race with us next season, I think he's going to be, um, we, we, I think we're going to see him out in front a bit more. So Ben Watson on the brakes so there with Corey Tinker just behind him. Interesting to look at these lap times at the moment. The gap last time round was 5.7 seconds with Harris Beach. Who's for so the gap, I would say, is around two and a half seconds. I have to bear with us here because I've got one or two timing issues. It is Ben Watson in second place. That's Watson there with Corey Tinker behind him. Now, Ben Watson, of course, relatively new rider. He's, that time. He's within a second of Chloe. 
So we all know what Chloe Jones is like. Absolutely live wire at the front of the series. There yeah. goes Harris Beach, who's actually in fourth place. But uh, Ben Watson, of course, he is closing up on Chloe Jones in terms of speed. Yeah, so Ben's absolutely, he's flying. Um, and another, uh, Corey, the little lad that he um, went to have a chat with on the on the grid, I went out with him at four, actually, and enjoyed the race. And um, was following him around for a little bit, and I thought I'd uh, make a move and go past him, give him a bit of thumbs up as, a, as I passed him off and went. Half an hour, half an hour later, he came out absolutely flying past me, waving at me. Um, as he went, as he went past, and then just disappeared off into the distance. So you've learned a, uh, a valuable lesson then. Don't go baiting the kids. I got an absolute <laughs> schooling, and I couldn't get, I, I couldn't keep up with him. He was gone. So it's it's amazing how the um, we're obviously picking up on these mini GP bikes, and um, and you've got people like Corey, Chloe, you know, Harris. Um, trying to think who else in the mini GP class and picked up a couple of um, a couple of is it Dylan Jones? No, Lewis Jones as well and it's, it's great to see these guys get picked up and uh, and progressing forward in their um, in their racing careers hopefully and um, it's, it's great that the b and um, have been that foundation for it and um, I'm really really happy. So moving through to this talent cup of course in a few weeks time the riders very much with their chests out the moment they have got a newfound spring in their step and Chloe Jones this looks like Jones now making her way around the back of the circuit leading the race quite comfortably at the moment although Ben Watson is still there and Chloe Jones is now closing up on Mason Johnson who in the race he dropped it on about the second lap Johnson is starting to win you should see him there there he is with the black and green machine number 15 though Chloe Jones is your race leader Ben Watson just a little bit further behind in second place Corey Tinker keep Sean, though, in third, she was showing as fourth on your lap charts. Currently, so second on the lap charts, currently in fourth place. Yeah, Harris had a massive crash yesterday. Um, I said it was quite difficult conditions throughout the test day, but he did about three laps. He's got a brand spanking new leathers, brand spanking new boots, and he did three laps and binned it. Uh, so it's, uh, it, it's good to see him back on the bike today and uh, riding well in fourth place. Our main championship contender though, Ryan Frost, dropped the bike early on in the race. He's just on the fringes of the top ten. Don't forget, of course, these riders second downwards. There are two other riders in front of them. Watson and Corey Tinker. So Ryan Frost is currently on the tenth place. Although way down the field, this will be he's still charging actually just out of our camera shot here, going up towards the corner as the leaders make their way through. There you go, charging through and ben still hanging on in there they are not letting Chloe Jones too far away they got to Christmas corner Chloe Jones leads the way I would say the gap is around one and a half two seconds they've got past the back marker of course Mason Johnson looks like certainly Tinker and Watson are not letting Chloe Jones get away no I was looking at Chloe's body language I think she's getting some signals to just to relax now um, and just maintain that gap so Chloe Jones uh, staying. If you look at the difference in body language between uh, Ben, he is, he is pushing on. He really, really wants that. He's uh, and he is closing down. So I don't think Chloe can let go. Well, Ben Watson nips down the inside of Mason John. I don't think he saw it's going to there. So Watson got Corey Tinker just a bit further. Who will lap Mason John? Johnson is back in the race, of course, so dropped the bike early on. Chloe Jones leads them through into the second corner. There she goes with the second place rider not too far behind Watson and tinkering there as well. But Chloe Jones looking in as we go into the closing part of the race. Watson is still there in second. Oh, but Corey Tinker has the door shut there by Mason Johnson. Corey Tinker showing his 12th on the lap chart. He's actually and now clear of Mason Johnson Taylor Rose Eddie O'Shea Samuel Laidlow Rossi Brown Harry Cook Ryan Frost up to 10th position that's the top 10 so far with Max Hardy Ben Taylor and the uh, aforementioned Johnson just a little bit further behind the rider is going into the pits which we think could be Ryan Frost after this is he's gone uh, that's, through uh, that looks like it's, it's Harry Cook it's Harry Cook and on the uh, Harry Cook Harry Cook on the uh, Harry Cook on the very attractive looking replica, of course. It looks good, doesn't it? <laughs> it, looks it looks it, it's definitely a head turner. Full on MotoGP, that bike, but unfortunately, it's in the pits. Let's hope he can get back going again. That has got to be one of the for uh, best looking bike in this group, hasn't it? 
Yeah, we've got um, we've got our uh, presentation evening on uh, November the 11th. From November the 11th, from November the 18th, uh, up pretty much near Eastman's Airport. And so, yeah, we are definitely going to do best turnout bike. And I think he's in definitely in, for, in contention, contention for that one. Definitely a contender there. Back on track, though, of course, Chloe Jones leading the way and looking comfortable so far. Although Ben Watson's still hanging in there in second place. So Jones goes round the penultimate corner, round the boot up towards the 90-degree right-hander. One lap to go. And Chloe Jones, perfect line right there, tries to keep off that rumble strip, as you'll see on this corner here, this first corner. You want to stay off that concrete. The front end washes out and he'll be all over the place. There's Watson in second place and Watson not letting t Jones get too far away. It looks like still in third place is Corey Tinker. And here they go around the back of the circuit. This is Harris Beach who's currently in fourth place. Although Taylor Rose not too far behind and Harris Beach, another rider is up season so far, running strongly in that fourth place. Just being shadowed now by Taylor Rose, Eddie O'Shea, Samuel Laidlow, Rossi Brown, all a little bit further behind. But we wait now for Chloe Jones to come round towards the final corner. And we'll cut back to Chloe any moment. She comes round the final corner, punches the air as she takes the chequered flag. It's going to be Ben Watson in second place, number 123rd for Corey Tinker. And in this battle for fourth place, we have the lap who goes through there we have number 83 the machine of harris beach who goes through in fourth place closely followed by taylor rose eddie o'shea samuel laidlow just about holding off rossi brown very close battle there as uh, rossi brown makes his way around ryan frost still going and he'll finish i believe in ninth place welcome back then to british mini bikes and the second block is about to get underway with mini gp away glory Chloe Jones with a uh, good start there. I'm not saying anything there, but it looked like it was a bit of a creeping on the line possibly, but nonetheless gets ahead of Ryan Frost. Ben Watson in third, Corey Tinker in fourth position as they make their way through. Another good start here. Coming up next, of course, we have the pit bike stock. 160 riders coming up very soon. Meanwhile, our mini GP riders make their way through. They, Ryan Frost trying to fight back in second place. Chloe Jones trying to pull away at the front. Ryan Frost in second position. They make their way through to the final corner. Then Chloe Jones, your early race leader. Ryan Frost in second place. And they go charging through. Third for Ben Watson. Watson is not too far behind. Corey Tinker just two and a half seconds down. Peach. Mason Johnson who fell off race of course so good to see Johnson running well currently in sixth place from the seventh place rider Taylor Rose Samuel Laidlow Eddie O'Shea a bit further back with Rossi Brown Harry Cook and Taylor a little bit further down the field with Ryan Frost trying to close up in second place look out there for Ben Watson who's breaking away now from the battle of a fourth as Looks like Corey Tinker battling away with Harris Beach and holds on to that position. Mason Johnson just a bit further behind. And Ben closing off. Oh, was down the inside. Goes number 83, Harris Beach, who gets past Corey Tinker through into that fourth place. So Chloe Jones leading away. Ryan Frost in second. Ben Watt, Harris Beach now up to fourth place. Mason Johnson just behind in sixth position, but Chloe Jones trying to pull a gap now from Ryan Frost in second, and she's doing so. She's pulling away from Ryan Frost. Closing up now, though, in third is Ben Watson, who's been on great form this weekend and really looking to round things off, Matt, on this final moto. He's closing up now on Ryan Frost. Yeah, uh, I said Ben's getting faster and faster and faster every single round, and... Uh, you know, really, really put the training in, training in. He comes down to track days. He, uh, he's definitely putting the work in. And you can see it. You can see it's paying off. You know, him and his dad are working as a team. Uh, they both work together on the bike. So it's it's great to see how he's progressing throughout the season. 
And so he's really closing up now on one of the pre-season favourites, of course, Ryan Frost in second place. Here's the battle of the fourth with Harris Beach still in that fourth place, but Corey Tinker is starting to close up a bit now in fifth as Tinker closes up under braking going through into the second corner. They make their way up towards Christmas Corner. And let's see what happens here as Beach goes wide. Corey Tinker goes charging down the inside, but not enough. Yeah, these are two Mini GP UK boys. These are teammates. Um, and so for Mini GP UK is a, a team that runs within British Mini Bikes and they've got a real good support structure. And I know Corey and Harris are good mates off track, but as Chris has said, there's no <laughs> those friends which go out the window when the flag drops. Harris Beach then still scrapping away. Corey Tinker. Trying to find a way through. Chloe Jones, meanwhile, setting the fastest lap of the race, 50, 55.6. Ryan Frost in second, Ben Watson third, and here's the battle of the four. So Jones leading. Ryan Frost definitely being closed on now by Ben Watson. Less than a second covering second and third. Here they are going through the second corner, and Ben Watson looks very quick, actually, into that second corner. And we've got the two two strokes down in sixth and seventh at the moment. Uh, Mason Johnson and Eddie O'Shea there on the two GP fifties, Mexico GP fifty fifty uh, fifty cc two strokes. And these, of course, fantastic bikes for for younger riders. Of course, very much um, obviously in terms of appearance. Anyway, scaled down replicas of the Moto GP, oh, GP yeah. bikes. So yeah. The uh, trip bits kit. They really, really are. I mean, um, Eddie and Mason won't be scoring points today. They're just coming out here to have a bit of fun. Uh, because we don't run uh, Mexicans within the B&B, but it's still great to have them down here racing and um, bashing bars together <laughs> and Kundalini coming together into the complex. And um, yeah, it's great to have them down here. And it's, uh, I mean, I've said before, I love a two straight, so it's great to see them um, out of track. Chloe Jones still leads the way, and Ryan Frost in two, two strokes we just saw going through. Still scrapping away for that sixth place. Mason Johnson and Eddie O'Shea, Taylor Rose, Samuel Laidlow, a bit further behind. Looking further at the track. Oh, down the inside goes Corey Tinker now. Stick. It looks like Harris Beach has held it. No, he has. He's gone through now. So Corey Tinker has gone through. So Corey Tinker is up to fourth place. The battle now well and truly on for second place, though, between Ryan Frost and Ben Watson, who's been away and is really starting to close up on Ryan Frost. Here they come into the boot section now. Chloe Jones is clearing away, but look out for Corey Tinker as well. There's Corey Tinker. Harris Beach just behind him, and they're closing up. Well, both closing up on Ben Watson. We're going to look at these lap charts here, and they come through, so Ryan Frost goes through. Ben Watson closing up, but the man on the move is number three, Corey Tinker. There he goes. Third ride out of that four-rider group. Looking back down the further field, we've got a cracking battle on at the moment for eighth place between Taylor Rose and what's like Samuel Laidlow. Uh, Max Hardy just tagging on the back of that group as well. I was chatting away to Taylor's dad last night. Um, it's going to be Taylor's last season on the Mini TP bikes. He's moving onwards and upwards um, and he's going to be 650 next year. Um, good luck for Taylor for next season. Um, all the best, mate, and we hope to see you back in the B&B paddock. Hopefully, the rest of the season and next and next season. The Rose still charging through the field. The back place is starting to hop up. Look out for the two strokes. Got a bit further behind there. They Eddie O'Shea, Mason Johnson. They're closing up as well. So it's still Ryan Frost in second place. Ben Watson. Corey Tinker, Harris Beach trying to fight back. We've got a bit further behind there. Eddie O'Shea and Mason Johnson as well. Fifth and sixth trying to close up. Taylor Rose in eighth place. Max Hardy, Rossi Brown all battling away a bit further down the field. But oh, down the inside goes Ben Watson. Loses ground. Corey Tinker tries to take advantage there. We just saw Ryan Frost shut the door on Ben Watson. So Watson losing a bit of ground there. Corey Tinker trying to take advantage, but doesn't quite make the move stick. Coming into the boot section now as Ben Watson tries to regroup. He's lost a little bit of ground there in third place. The race leader is still number 15, Chloe Jones, who pulls away around the second. Moving up towards Christmas. 
Ryan Frost in second. Ben Watson trying to close up yet again in third, just picking little gaps away in that third place. Oh, as Corey Tinker dies on the inside of Ben Watson, but can't quite get through. Not quite close enough to make the pass stick and loses ground now as Ben Watson pulls away slightly in that third place, trying to make a move on Ryan Frost. He came very close on the previous. But Ryan Frost shut the door in second place. Chloe Jones will be seeing her. Oh, she's already out of camera shot. That's how far down the field she is. Chloe Jones has pretty much run away with things so far. Oh, and the battle on though just behind here. We can see Harris Beach having a little look down the inside of Corey Tinker, but not close enough to make the pass stick. Chloe Jones goes through with one lap to go. Second place is still Ryan Frost. Ben Watson in third. Corey Tinker, Harris Beach are neck and neck. Fourth, fourth and fifth place. Eddie O'Shea but further behind with Mason Johnson. Taylor Rose, Rossi Brown, Harry Cook, Ben Taylor, Max Hardy dropping a few places. Oh, was down the inside going into Christmas corner. Out of nowhere goes Harris Beach. I don't think that Corey Tinker was expecting that one. So Harris Beach, number 83, the white machine in fourth place at the moment. And it looks like Harris Beach is having a last dash here for the finish. Trying to pick away now Ben Watson. Watson, I wonder if he knows how close Harris Beach is. Here they come up towards the boot section as Chloe Jones comes back towards the finish line. One more corner to go and Chloe Jones running away with things and taking the chequered flag. Punches the air as she goes through. Great ride for Chloe Jones. We cut back to second place. It looks like Ryan Frost is going to hold on. Ben Watson in third place. Harris Beach in fourth. Corey Tinker in fifth place. Some very, very close racing there. Then we see Eddie O'Shea, Taylor Rose, Mason Johnson, Max Hardy in there as well. Samuel Laidlow, all involved in that one. 